Hello friends, today's topic, listen to the opinion of Amit Shah about markets. I am Dr. Bharat Chandra, purpose of the video is Financial Education of Society. In a TV interview today, Union Home Minister Amit Shah was asked about the stock market fall in the last few days due to election uncertainty. Amit Shah replied, the stock markets have fallen several times before. And there is no need to think the current market fall with the outcome of the elections. He said that even if the market weakness is due to the rumors of political uncertainty, he advised people to invest before 4 June, vote counting day, and he expected markets to shoot up. He said that usually when there is a stable government with a clear majority, stock market rises. He expected the NDA to win more than 400 seats in the election. Although it is not common for ministers and politicians to comment on the stock market, this is a rare occasion. Amit Shah seems both confident about the election results and the stock market performance. A lower voter turnout in the first three phases of the election has increased perceived uncertainty on the results even though NDA is expected to retain power easily. The India WIX or Volatility Index went up around 11% today. The VIX level is now around 20. Around 3 weeks back, it was just around 10. So the elections have created nervousness in the markets. Nifty had fallen by around 1% today morning to 21,821. However, it recovered fully by afternoon. However, not all individual stocks recovered. The mid cap and small cap stocks fell more than the large caps today. Apart from the election uncertainty, there was a report from the US and the US consumer sentiment has fallen to a 6 month low. This means that there is expectation that inflation may raise in the US in the short term. If inflation rises in US, the US Federal Reserve is unlikely to cut interest rates anytime soon. The actual inflation figures rise, there will not be a positive sign for US and global stock markets. If US Federal Reserve postpones the rate cut, then the RBI may also follow the same approach. The current weakness in markets is a good opportunity for long term investors. Continue SCP as usual and invest some lump sum in installment if you have funds with you. Success in stock markets always comes when investors bear short term losses with the intention of gaining in the long term. Philip Capital which is a foreign brokerage and investment company has mentioned the following in its latest report. Scenario NDA 400 plus strong rally in markets, NDA 300 to 330 fall in the markets. Philip Capital said the turnout in the first three phases has been a little lower than the previous election, hence this could affect the results in few constituencies. However, it is unlikely to majorly dent the widely expected outcome of BJP returning to the power. Mire Asset Capital Market feels that the Modi government has broadly fulfilled most of the initiatives mentioned in the 2019 manifesto, hence they are confident with the Modi government fulfilling its promises if it once again comes to power in 2024. We expect further focus on infrastructure development in the next five years. We will need to wait and see how the election results will be. The next three weeks will be very volatile for stock markets. The markets may trade both ways on 4 June until there is a clarity on the victory and the margin of victory and after the election results are clear, it may have a one-way movement. End of the video, here is the question. Large number of people expected a market rally after election results. Do you think markets may surprise us by moving in the opposite direction? You may type yes or no. In case you are not the member of this channel, this is the time to subscribe, press the bell icon, send the video to all your friends, the video is good, press the like button. Thank you for watching, bye bye, all the best.